Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the most amazing chocolate cupcakes. My recipe for the most amazing chocolate cake is wildly popular. It has hundreds, maybe even thousands of rave reviews on it. You guys absolutely love it. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, can I use that recipe to make cupcakes? The answer is yes, and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today. We're gonna to start here in a large mixing bowl. You'll need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of sugar, three quarters of a cup of high-quality cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then. I'm just gonna give this a quick mix together. Then we can start adding in our wet ingredients. You'll need three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you should check out my buttermilk substitutes. There's lots of options. You can find that in the video description. Pour that on in, along with the same amount, three quarters of a cup of warm water. You'll also need a quarter cup a vegetable oil, which will keep this cake nice and moist, two eggs, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix this in. And that's it for the cake batter. It's just as easy as a boxed cake mix, and let me tell you, it tastes a whole lot better. Next, we're gonna put this into a cupcake pan, so you'll need to line it with little cupcake liners. You wanna fill each cupcake liner about two-thirds of the way full. That was a little more like three-quarters of the way full, so I'll take a little bit out so that it's only two-thirds. This recipe makes 24 cupcakes, so you'll either need two pans or just bake them one pan of 12 at a time. You'll need to bake these in a 325 degree oven for 22 minutes. While the cupcakes are baking, make your frosting. On my most amazing chocolate cake recipe, I use a chocolate cream cheese buttercream that is just amazing. But a lot of you have asked for just a plain chocolate buttercream, so that's what I'm gonna show you how to make today. It starts with one and a half cups of softened salted butter. You want this to be softened to room temperature. Plop that into a large mixing bowl and beat it until it's creamy and fluffy. That should take just about one minute. Then we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of high quality cocoa powder. You guys always ask me what I mean by high quality cocoa powder. Usually you can tell by the price. So use the highest quality that you can find and afford. I'm telling you, it really makes a difference. You'll also need a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix this in. Once the cocoa powder is all mixed in, it's time to start slowly adding in some powdered sugar. You'll need about three to four cups, depending on how sweet you like it. I added in about half a cup, maybe two thirds of a cup at a time, and then mix it in between. If your frosting gets too thick, you can always thin it out with a tablespoon or two of milk. You should end up with a nice thick, creamy chocolate frosting. I'm gonna transfer all of this frosting to some piping bags and set it aside until we're ready to frost our cupcakes. Once your cupcakes are finished baking, pull them out of the oven, remove them, and place them onto a wire rack to cool completely. Do not try and frost your cupcakes while they are still warm or your frosting will melt all over the place. There's lots of ways to frost a cupcake, but I'm just gonna take an open star tip and give it a little swirl. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these cupcakes as much as you enjoy my most amazing chocolate cake. You can find the full written recipe in the video description along with the metric measurements. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.